There is a website with a login page that we are going to bypass using any means necessary. Step one is always get to know the website first and just looking at it, cyberpunk themed action? Wow. It says, welcome to Insomnia City. Can you find the hidden message in this city? Now it is hosted on a platform called Hack the Box. That's where it is. Also has the download files that we are going to analyze soon. Now every hacker's best friend is a tool called Burp Suite, which can intercept and let you look inside packets. So we'll go to the same website, but now everything goes through Burp Suite. Let's follow that and easy. Let's do that again, but this time when I do it with the username administrator and I give it a random password, whatever, it says user not found. But I know that administrator exists because if I try and sign up a user called administrator with a random password and I try and register that guy, administrator, does user already exist? So the user definitely exists. The password just did not match up. So our job now is how do I get inside administrator's account? Let's look at the source code, shall we? Now, before this browser sends anything to the backend server, we get to see it and modify it and play with it. So let's go to the sign-in page. It says index.php on the login path. Forward it, easy. Username, password, casual. Sign up is the exact same thing. Register, yeah. once again, username, password. It's pretty standard. Sign up, hacker man, exclamation mark, and we'll give it password. Register, easy. We'll forward that and registration successful for user hacker man. All right, clean. Let's go to sign in. And this time, once again, we're on login. We'll do hacker man exclamation and the password was password. Did I get that right? Cool. So now it's a post request to login and we have a JSON payload, username, hacker man, password, password, easy forward that. And we are redirected to index profile and there's a mysterious little cookie. Well, I'm guessing this has my details on it. Hacker man, that's the username, easy. Forward that. Haven't seen you for a while. Welcome back, hacker man, with the exclamation mark. Let's do that again, but this time when I do it with the username administrator and I give it a random password, it says user not found. But I know that administrator exists because if I try and sign up a user called administrator with a random password and I try and register that guy, administrator, does user already exist? So the username has definitely been found. The user definitely exists. The password just did not match up. So our job now is how do I get inside administrator's account? Readme.md always stands out. And when I click on it, I see code igniter, which is a full stack web framework Cool. And kids, what do you do when you see random links? You click it. And I wonder what code igniter is. Oh, the small framework with powerful features. Easy enough. But now that we have that, I always want to look for the login endpoint because we already know that one of the endpoints is forward slash login. I want to see if that route has been declared somewhere and it has. There is a routes.php. So the get request and the post request are both mapped to some functions under the user controller class. The user controller class is inside app controllers user controller. Let's look at that. So app controllers, easy. And we have the login function, beautiful. Now, the login function establishes a connection with the database and it gets the JSON body from the post request, I'm guessing, and stores it in JSON data. If JSON data does not have two items inside, we get a 404 response with, please provide a username and password. Let's test that out really quickly. Let's go to the login, post, push that, and let's see what it does. I'll get rid of both. When we send it, it says 404, just as we thought, please provide username and password. Easy, so we're definitely on the right function. Next up, it uses the database object, gets a table called users and does get where. Now, here's a query that is built and that query is used to fetch a user and a password in that combination. However, if they don't find a user and a password, we get a 404 user not found. Now we already saw this when we tried the administrator username with a random password, but if it is found, it builds us a token, puts it inside the response and gives us a 200. And we saw that too. Now let's draw our attention to these two lines right here. We have the JSON data from the post request and that's passed directly inside of get getware function. Now, depending on how this function is built, we might have an injection point. So let's do some research around what this exactly is. We'll do code igniter, but we'll do get where like that. And I'll look for get where. Sweet, get underscore where was formerly known as get where, which has been removed. All right, fine. So I guess let's look at get where. Oh, never mind. it's right there. All right, cool. This DB get where. Identical to the above function, except that it permits you to add a where clause in the second parameter instead of using db where function. So get where takes a table name 
and then the array, I'm guessing that's what the where clause is all about, and then some random offset and limit. So here it's an array, but you know what? Let's look at the where function to get more context on exactly what's happening here. Let's do that. Go down and oh, actually we found it. Looking for specific data. This function enables you to set where clauses using one of the four methods. Simple key value. You get a key and a value, easy. This produces the where clause where name equals Joe. And it seems you can chain them together to get a complex where clause with and operators. Custom key value method. You can include an operator in the first parameter in order to control the comparison. This db name not equals to. Oh, hang on now. So if I just provide the name key, if I add an exclamation equals to inside of the key, all of a sudden it checks for name is not equals to Joe. I think I know what to do. Let's go back to our web application. And that's what we had originally. Cool. That's fine. User not found. Now what happens if I do space equals to user not found? So I'm guessing that worked. And if I do that, so what we're saying now is get a user where the username is equals to administrator and the password is not equal to, and I'll just do definitely the wrong password. I'll get rid of this token just so we're clear on this. Three, two, one. Boo, yeah, login successful. And all I had to do was password not equals to. Sensational. Look at that. I'll do administrator password, intercept that request. And all I have to do is just a magical voila. And before you know it, Bob's your uncle. And I can see the profile as administrator. And we have a flag too. This is just a simple where clause. So really, I don't even need the password, but we need two elements. So what if I just take that, post that in there. Username is password. We just check that twice. Does that let us through? And it does.